Hey what's up YouTube, in today's video I'm going to show you how it's possible to unlock any iPhone running the latest iOS 11, even iOS 12 firmwares with no jailbreak required. So to start off, check out the article on Best Tech Info located in the description of this video to get further details and links which I will refer to in this video. There will be a link provided to a full iPhone unlock service that I have personally verified. And lastly, if you appreciate videos like this, give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to stay on top of the latest unlock services. So first, let's talk about the differences between jailbreaking and unlocking. Now, while both terms are often used freely amongst individuals to essentially mean the same thing, they are in fact fundamentally different. In essence, jailbreaking refers to the process in which a user gains root access and in most cases installs Cydia via a public utility, whereas unlocking empowers iPhones that previously would only function on one carrier to work on virtually any. Alright, so let me give you a demonstration of what an unlocked iPhone is supposed to look like. So if I scroll down on the control center right here, you can see that we're currently on the AT&T network. Now another way to confirm is if I go into the phone right here and dial 611, which is the customer support of whatever carrier you have. If I click call, I'm just going to throw it on speaker so you guys can hear this as well. So, so there we are, we're on AT&T right now. Now if I use my handy Simjection tool or just a paper clip, if you don't have an official tool, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out my SIM card right here, maybe. It's much easier with an actual tool. You can just dismiss this no SIM card installed prompt that comes up. I'm going to pop out my AT&T SIM, and then I'm gonna come over here to my Verizon SIM card right here, and I will pop that guy in the SIM tray and pop that in the phone and I'll just give it a second to recognize it says searching up in the top left right here another way is if you go into settings under cellular it already recognizes we're now on Verizon so I'll just give it a second to get service uh, it looks like we have some bars right there so I'm gonna go ahead and try to dial 611 once more so let's let this call All right, and there we have it. We are now on Verizon, and I'm not sure why it's popping up there, but we are officially on Verizon. The settings app does confirm this. Now, in contrast, if you don't have an unlocked phone, you will receive something like this when you input a SIM card that is not supported. Give it a little closer up right here. As you guys can see, it says the SIM card you currently have installed on this iPhone is from a carrier that is not supported under this activation policy. Again, you can try again, but nothing will change the status until you unlock your phone. So now let's get into a little bit more of why there is a need for unlocking. Well, the applications for unlocking iPhones are virtually endless, and there is a wide array. There's a vast amount of potential reasons as to why you'd seek out an iPhone unlock. Say you're switching carriers, traveling abroad, or you purchased a carrier locked iPhone that you intend to use entirely on a different cellular network. Now you can of course do all of that once your iPhone is unlocked like this one is here. And the best part about it is the iPhone unlock method doesn't actually require anything else. It doesn't need to be jailbroken. It doesn't matter what firmware you are on and you don't need any sort of hardware that actually goes between your SIM card and the SIM card tray. It just works with any network. So there are three major types of unlocks that I'm going to detail in today's video, only one of which is the one that's applied to this iPhone here and is suited for today's unlockers running iOS 12 or below. Now for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to detail said appropriate method first before briefly touching on the now outdated legacy unlock methods. So due to the lack of advancements in both software and hardware, IMEI based iPhone unlocks, which stands for International Mobile Station Equipment Identity iPhone Unlocking, has has become the cream of the crop when it comes to getting your iPhone to function across multiple carriers as we just demoed there from AT&T to Verizon. What's more, due to the fact that Apple builds both GSM and CDMA components into their latest iPhones, 
One Unlock fits all and post unlocked iPhones can be used on virtually any carrier anywhere in the world. And lastly, just to name a few more benefits of iMEI unlocking, as I mentioned earlier, the iPhone does not need to be jailbroken and it can be utilized on any firmware, including the latest iOS 11.4.1 and even iOS 12 betas and the official version of iOS 12 once it's released. Now, because iMEI Unlocks works on what's essentially a factory level, it would be the equivalent of having purchased your iPhone unlocked from Apple on day one. Now, of course, at this point, you're probably wondering how such an unlock exists and that it's too good to be true. Now, iMEI Unlocks must be purchased for your iPhone's model and original carrier from a reputable company. I cannot stress how important this is that you guys need to purchase an iMEI Unlock if you're going to do so from a company that you know to be trustworthy. Now, once it's purchased, said company will pay somebody at your iPhone's original carrier to input your iPhone's IMEI into their whitelist database, which they will then communicate with Apple servers and flag your iPhone as being ready for use on any carrier. Now, at this point, once it's all said and done, you're free to pop in a new SIM from your new carrier and receive service. Now, keep in mind that sometimes these unlocks, unless you purchase a guarantee, can fail at the carrier level, in which case it's very important, as I mentioned earlier, to purchase an unlock through a trustworthy company because they will immediately refund you and you can attempt other basic unlock services again or you can opt to go with a guarantee the second time around, which of course costs more money. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of IMEI unlocking because these companies have to actually go to the original carrier. Let's say this iPhone was originally intended for AT&T. They have to pay somebody with the authority at your original carrier to input your iPhone's IMEI into their whitelist database. And depending on the company, they'll either charge you a lot and mark it up, or they'll charge you very little, basically what they have to pay the individuals at the original carrier Sometimes it's a risky thing to do, so depending on your carrier and your device and a combination of different things, it could be more or less. All right, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to actually unlock. So step number one, after you found the unlock company of choice, you're going to select your iPhone's company, in this case being Apple. Then select your iPhone model. In this case, I'll put in my iPhone 6S Plus and try to unlock this guy here. Then you're going to want to select where your phone is locked to, most times being USA, and then select your carrier. In my case, this one was originally for AT&T. Now for the next step, you're going to need to supply the IMEI unlocking company with your iPhone's IMEI. So to obtain your iPhone's IMEI, simply launch up the phone application, just go to the keypad right there at the bottom, and then dial star pound zero six pound, and instantly it will list your IMEI right there. Now I've left mine out for security reasons, but you can just copy that number, supply the IMEI unlocker with it, and then hit dismiss on your phone once everything's gone through. Now at this point, you'll just need to follow the rest of the steps on screen, eventually landing on a submit button once everything is entered. Now from there, you'll need to wait until you've received a confirmation of a successful unlocked or that you've been refunded. Now if the later occurs, you can simply try again, but provided it's succeeded, you're just going to plug your iPhone into iTunes and launch it up, and then you'll receive a confirmation that your iPhone has been unlocked once the iPhone communicates with Apple servers and then you'll be able to do what I demoed at the beginning of this video. You'll be able to pop any SIM card into your iPhone from any carrier and you will have service. So that's pretty easy, right guys? I absolutely love IMEI unlocking and it's literally the only unlock method that will work on any iPhone, including the iPhone 10, 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus, 6s, 6, 5, 5s, 5c, 5, and 4s, running any firmware, including iOS 12 and lower. It's seriously the best unlock method currently available. Now for the rest of this video, I wanted to briefly go over two legacy methods that we have for unlocking. First up, we have hardware unlocking, which essentially is a piece of hardware that goes between your SIM card and SIM tray in order to obtain service. Now, unfortunately, this only works on a select few iPhone models on certain firmwares with limited baseband. Unfortunately, this method used to be preferred due to its simplicity. You just stick a component in the SIM tray between your SIM card. Unfortunately, the tech has really yet to be updated for today's iPhone models. Now, that being said, I may have actually found such a thing that supposedly works on today's iPhones, so I will be leaving one of my iPhones locked to test that device out. Again, this unlock form will still cost money to purchase the SIM device, and it's not guaranteed to work on every iPhone model on every firmware like the IME iUnlock 
that we've discussed in today's video is. Now, I may be doing a follow-up video depending on how well this works. I've yet to test it out, but if it works well, I will be bringing you guys that video as well. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up if you're excited to see this thing as much as I am. Now, lastly, even more antiquated than hardware unlocking is software-based unlocks that actually do rely on jailbreaking. However, similar to hardware unlocking, software unlocks only function on a select jailbreakable iPhone models on outdated firmwares with old baseband's and if I recall right, the latest iPhones able to do this when jailbroken were the iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS. So that's way back, guys. This was originally accomplished by genius hacker George Hotz, commonly known by his handle GeoHot, shortly after jailbreaking's inception. All right, now that absolutely wraps up everything you need to know about iPhone unlocking in one video. And now that you're equipped with the proper knowledge of how to unlock your iPhone, I hope you make the informed decision when it comes to which supplier you opt to choose if you proceed with an IMEI unlock. And again, if you need your iPhone unlocked in today's world, that's really the only method that is guaranteed to do it. In the end, I really hope this video helped you out. Just check out the link down below for more information for not only a complete written tutorial of today's video, but also to a service that I have found to be reputable. Anyway, if you guys want to be updated even more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one, or covering various things including jailbreaking, iOS updates, and more, just click that subscribe button next to my channel name if you've yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. But until next time, guys, this is Tony, signing out.